get started, upload your data set. Currently, Studio supports image, text, and tabular data with a few different upload options that you can choose from. The easiest way is to upload here directly or by URL if your data set is small to medium sized. Otherwise, you can upload all three types via the command line. We have some text data, so let's choose Upload via Web and choose our file. Verify the ID column, modality, data type, and feature type selections are correct. These were automatically predicted by CleanLab for your convenience. Then, confirm the schema, and once the upload is successful, select View Datasets to view your uploaded data, ready to be cleaned. It's time to change your dataset into a clean set. Create a new project to find and fix label issues. If your tabular data contains multiple feature columns, select them here. Studio can handle multiple feature types using the tabular setting. Then, select which column contains the label. We have text data, so let's select the text column and the label column. In text mode, Studio will only use the column you selected and no others, such as this identifier column. If you've already trained a model and have predicted probabilities, you can utilize them here. Otherwise, we recommend you using the regular model as it will produce the most accurate results. If time is not in your favor, you can use a fast one. Awesome! We are one step closer to cleaner data. Sit back and relax while CleanLab Studio trains machine learning models to detect label issues using algorithms invented by our scientists. You'll also get an email notifying that your project is ready. You'll know your project is ready when the status says ready for review. Click here to view the details we selected in the previous step. It looks like CleanLab has inferred that this dataset contains 4,848 issues. Because these issues are algorithmically inferred, they're not always perfect, but generally super helpful. We'll see in the next step how to utilize Studio to help you fix them. Once you're ready, click on Ready to Review to start improving your data. Here we are in the project view, which contains many powerful tools and added information to help you resolve label issues. Each row from the original dataset is represented here, ranked in increasing order by their label quality score. We see here this dataset contains 4,848 possible issues, with all of them left to be resolved. Notice that the black header denotes which columns existed in the original dataset, while the blue header denotes columns that CleanLab computed. The suggested column provides you with a label that CleanLab predicted to be most accurate. The corrected column displays the label that has been chosen after correction. This will just be the given label until further action is taken. The issue column indicates if CleanLab thinks an issue exists. The quality score estimates how confident CleanLab is that the given label is actually correct. It ranges between 0 and 1, with values near 0 indicating examples which are potentially mislabeled. Finally, the action column describes how each issue has been resolved or unresolved if it's not been modified yet. Before you dive into cleaning, a great place to start is the issue summary page. Here, Studio provides us with visual representations of label distributions and suggested corrections. In this bar plot, we can see that this dataset contains 935 one-star reviews, but CleanLab suggests it should contain over 1400. This probably means this dataset contains more one-star reviews than actually labeled. On this chart, we can see that the most common suggested correction is from 2 stars to 1, probably because the difference between 1 and 2 stars is low, which means these data points are hard to predict suggestions for. On the contrary, suggested corrections from 1 star to 5 stars should be more accurate. Use this tab to gain an understanding of possible issues within your dataset. One simple but useful feature to get started with your data is sorting. Click any of the column headers to sort the data accordingly. Let's view all other reviews with a given label of 1 star. Cool, how about 5 stars? This part is super important. Up to this point, we haven't actually improved anything. All of the issues are currently unresolved. You need edit mode. You can use edit mode to correct one label at a time by zooming in on it for a closer review. You can enter edit mode by clicking on any of the rows or by selecting edit mode at the top. Let's look at a few examples of corrections you might need to make within edit mode. Here, we see a review that has a given label of one star. 
This is clearly a five star review, which is exactly what CleanLab suggested. Simply click use our suggestion to relabel correctly. You can also use keyboard shortcuts to speed up your corrections. This review is not very useful for this data set. So let's exclude this data point entirely. This example illustrates a review that should probably keep the given label. We can select keep given label. Finally, this review is an example where the given and suggested labels might not be the best. So we can relabel it with any of the remaining labels here. Up to this point, we've corrected a few problems manually. To speed this process up, we can use the autofix feature. Select the autofix icon at the top and set the K value. This value determines how many data points will be automatically corrected to the CleanLab suggested label. Note that this will never override your manually corrected labels. Let's autofix the top 25 label issues. That was much faster than using edit mode, but might not be as accurate. Only you can determine the balance of manual and automatic corrections necessary for your data. Sometimes you only want to look at examples that you know are incorrect. Like in this example, where the given label is one star and the suggested label is five stars. Let's take a look at the other way, where the given label is five stars and the suggested label is one. To do this, let's first hide the index column to clear up some space. In the Columns tab, you can select which columns are visible. Now, let's use the Filter tab to show all reviews with a given label of 1 star and a suggested label of 5 stars. We can then use Edit Mode to correct these must-fixed issues. This process can be extrapolated to any dataset by using your domain-specific knowledge to correct these must-fixed label issues. Now that we're happy with our newly cleaned data, let's export it from Studio by selecting Export Clean Set. Here, we could use a command line if desired, but we'll stick to the interface for now. All we have left to do is to select an export configuration. The default setting will retain all the rows except those in which we selected to exclude. Custom allows for you to export a subset of your data using the filter tab we used earlier. If you're not sure, just export everything. Once you make your selection, click Export and your newly curated clean set will arrive in your downloads folder. CleanLab Studio allows users to utilize state-of-the-art machine learning and error detection algorithms without ever writing one line of code. The easy-to-use interface allows users from all technical backgrounds to efficiently and accurately correct label errors in nearly any data set. While this demo showed you how to use Studio for text data, you can use this application for image data and tabular data in pretty much the same way. You can also access the cutting edge ML models CleanLab use to assess your data. With one click, these models can be deployed such that you can use them to make predictions on new data. Inference can be done via a REST API or in the Studio app itself with zero code. To get started today, go to cleanlab.ai forward slash studio.